Yo, what's happening? Shout out to Six 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 here, back with The Walking Dead. In the last episode, all hell broke loose. Zombie apocalypse started. Uh, we stayed on a farm for a day, and then got the uh, son killed, and then got kicked out. And let's carry on from when we last left it. Oh yeah, we were just driving down. Well, this How is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Friendly trucks run out of gas. Nope, yep, that's not person. Fuck. How the hell did you see them all around you? If they were there, who are you? That might keep them barricaded out. Take risks like this. And Maybe. we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Tell her to chill oh, out. Fuck out, lady. We're just people trying to avoid those things, just like you. Don't come in here and swear at me. I'll say whatever I want if you start threatening these people. Exactly. You have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I, I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. You're just a go there. Careless kid. I would too. Then just go. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran He's out. He's an asshole with that. He's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. I said, Hell he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle this. Your heart, we kick Dad. his ass, that's for sure. We need to calm down. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, if it was your room. It's a big deal. Sit down. That's it. You're gonna whoop me? You and what homo parade? This one. <laughs> That's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, oh, you don't you know, know what we're capable of. I'm gonna kill him, cat. 
Just worry about Duck. Please. Exactly, Kenny. Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then a kid. he'll be three. He's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. Knock no. this guy out. Happily. Jesus. Oh, man. No. Lee, now's not the time to pass out. Get away from her, you son of a bitch! There's Sonny dance again. Come on. Man. You okay? Just great, thanks. At the same time, you just loaded every single one out there. Why don't you two go out there? Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! What's that? Death coming on your door. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Oh, now you want us to take pity. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know the way? You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Do we really need to, though? Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. If he's gonna be an asshole about everything, might as well just throw him out. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Guessing everything went to hell in here and things. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Wait a minute, didn't Lee say something about his parents owning a pharmacy place? Oh boy. Hey, 
talk to Clem. Hey there. Hi. Can I uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. Give her the chocolate bar. And let's have a chat. So, um, Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. But I just, uh, I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. We'll sit tight. Okay. Let's give her the chocolate bar. It's not much, but here you go. Thank or whatever you. it was. Of course. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. Did try at the on button? Turn up the volume so we can hear it. Hmm, nothing. Hmm. There's no your problem. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Let's look at the board. Not really anything there by the looks of it. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. hey, let's have a little look around. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. So apparently we've had a little look outside. Not that there's probably anything good out to you. Yep. He just eat. As far as I can tell, he's all the care of Hang on, how did Glenn get out and relock the gate again then? And whatever's left comes back as one of them. I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Oh, brick. <laughs> too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Damn. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. I can't reach that brick. I mean you can't reach it's right in front of you. Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. We weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Are you Ooh. okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of here? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility. Right. Look at the one trapped over there. Better him than us, huh? Oh no. Oh shit. 
What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Damn. Really anybody, you know, if they start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, Doc. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what the uniform find. isn't enough. I can't reach that brick. It's right in front of you. Just grab it. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. What do you mean you found this remote? We haven't How found the remote here? yet. I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time on the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? On the computer. I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. You can say that. Let's, Let's head, head back, back in. inside. Okay. No, so I'm sorry to hear that crap. one was eaten by the living dead guards. Now's not the time to be thinking about that. On the batteries. You can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Really? Ducky? Really? I don't remember them very well. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damn Let's have a chat with these guys. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans, says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. You guys okay? You guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. How's, How's Duck? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? Eh, uh, probably tell her that her family's dead and well, things. Her family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well... She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. What's the plan? It's playing tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? It's they own this place. They, uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Lee, you got a second? Sure. What's up? Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? 
could happen yeah, pretty, pretty fast. fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Okay? We killed that boy. We could have no, saved him. Together. Together. We just yeah, ran off. Bad things happen. We didn't make a choice to kill John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try so? to let it go. I think mean, it's kind of your fault because you just ran off. I'm How's giving you the energy bar. I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. He didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. Don't well, you don't need to act like right. one. It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. Well, you were the one asking for him things. I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah. The you could say that. We were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got He's a temper. Temp. Ah, fuck you. Yeah. Gonna be thrown out. It. It's just that... Yeah. Kids and families are here. We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Well, it is. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh. You guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back to him now. See what's back here. I can't. I can't think about them in here. Oh. Okay. Yeah, well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. 
Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. We'll always look out for you. you. heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. I'd give me the option to ask for Glenn again after I've already done it. This door leads to the back alley. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Don't know why the music just cut out then. So what else can we look at? One just be an empty room. Ah, here we go. We got here. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? No, nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. Clear this door for when we find the keys. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Let's see why not. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Oh, what happened to Clem's face then? How were you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. <sighs> One big pull. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Not anymore. Ask what well, parents do. Parents do. My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? You could say that, Clem. I wouldn't blame them. Why? Did you fight? I fight with my mom sometimes. We didn't fight. We just didn't talk for a while. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. Kind of saw a teller, but at the same time, I not really a teller was. Yeah, I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. See what's in here. Oh, they're about to what's supposed to apparently use with Doug. Don't why you give us the option earlier when we haven't even got no. it yet. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Does it hurt when I do this? A little I'm not guessing, too much. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. 
Okay, well, it's not broken. Let's have a look in here and see if there is anything. What was that plaster? The remote for that thing in here someplace. Yeah, you just found it. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Um Lee. They'll uh we'll find find us. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. Well, we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? It's the remote to my dad's TV. Let's have a look at that finger. Let's fix it. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Hey, you've already said this. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. And there we go. How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. See what's in uh, here. Keys are on that zombie out on the street. Uh, so that's what the keys are for. That's what I figured. What? No single signal? Nothing. Oh. Find anything? What are you doing in here? Just a photo. The family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Parents came in here hoping to survive, but it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Maybe. Let's head on out. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? What's up? You're not bad, right? I, uh... Asking me that. That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he was. And you had to protect yourself. That's right. Oh, okay. I'm not letting Clem know about my past and things. Even though she just blurred it clean out in front of us. And another energy bar. And the last battery. Finding everything in here. 
And she said she couldn't find anything. Damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound Let's too go, bad then. there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. We ain't giving you a chocolate bar or anything. You're the last people I'll give it to. Try to get some rest, hon. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. It's not exactly much, but it will probably help. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Did you actually put the batteries in this time? Hmm, nothing. Just flip it over. There's your problem, you're pumping back to front. Hey, uh, close that up. Maybe Pauline's cell might help too. Do you think to do anything with it? continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved ones... Maybe it's not so safe or good to... How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Let's okay. have another look around and see what we can find and things. Talk to Doug about the remote. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? Universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. That all actually worked. Since might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. But not enough. That was exactly the... I can't reach that brick. Do you mean you can't reach it? It's right there. Just grab it. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. 
The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. I can't reach that brick. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? We've already been through this, Lee. Too risky. Not a bunch of guys showed up, and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around. Already seen through this. Let's head back in. We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. Doug, are you seriously that stupid? That brick. We've seen the picture and things. Open sesame. That won't work. I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doug. So what do we do then? We're apparently missing something. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. I can't reach that brick. Let's head back inside. Okay. Seeing as we're apparently missing something, but don't know what. Going to talk to Carly and head out and things. First, give her the chocolate hey, bar thing or whatever it is. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. She's already had one. To keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You ready Please to head, head out? out? You got it. You? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Unfortunately, I'm all out of time for this one. So we'll have to try and save Glenn in the next one. And remember to scratch out the like and subscribe button. And we'll see you all in hell in the next video.